Hey guys, Quantum Bricks here. Back in the video today, I'm going to be reviewing the awesome Joker Manor set. It has 3,444 pieces. Yes, there are extra pieces. Um, I will be going over that at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, this is going to be a great set, so let's get into it. Starting off with the exterior, you can see the two bombs at the front leading up to the stairs. Up into the stairs is the big kind of like, it looks like the sun through here, but there's some dark green in there, so I'm not sure what that is. But uh, yeah, it looks really cool, and there is a play feature, and I will show you guys that. The play feature is when you turn a knob on the back, these fists, or punching bags, go out, or not punching bags, punching gloves go out. Or, sorry, boxing gloves go out. Um, and then you can notice the roller coaster track, because there is a roller coaster. So if you spin that around, it comes around here, but it can't go back up because there's no um, pulley system to take it up. But these bombs are really cool and very detailed. Um, going around to the side, you can see two haha -ha signs, which are very cool builds, and then a very nice Joker sign, and another play feature up here with the, I think it's supposed to be the Eye of Agamotto, I believe. I'm not really sure what that is. And I do have another mismolded piece to share with you guys. It's this flag piece here. Um, not the flag pole, but the actual flag piece. It has no bend marks, but it looks like that compared to the other flag piece, which is straight. Yes, it's upside down, but still it doesn't make a difference. Even like that, it looks like that. And no stretch marks. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, just very cool detailing on the front here. The only thing I don't like is that on this side, the um, the flag looks nice over here with the stud on the uh, top here with the tile there. But on this side, it's just the anti-stud, which I don't care for in the anti-stud for the stud. So I don't really care for that, but um, some a very nice, it's not technically a facade, but it looks like a facade. Uh, and yeah, this can turn as well, go up and down. I did say that, can spin. Um, the roller coaster goes all the way around with a control center for it at the back here. One with ha, ha ha, ba wa wa, ha 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 ha. The only piece I'm technically missing is a one by one round yellow plate that goes in here with the lobster. That's the microwave down there. This is supposed to be the kitchen down here at the bottom with some spilled coffee, some lemons chopped over there. I know you guys can't really tell because of a roller coaster, but um, that's a knife as well with another a uh, mug over there with some pans and pots and then a recording studio with a pc and some recording tech a mic cool stuff a guitar or electric guitar a record uh some photos of batman a bathtub which looks very nice that is a sticker in there unfortunately and then going up you could see we go to the attic bat merch wild style and there's a rat in there and then there's a bat up here at the spire Looks really cool and then uh moving over we have some arrows um for the like the roller coaster to direct it this way um because the front is supposed to be going this way so it looks like like the teeth of joker kind of you could see in there are kind of yellow there are supposed to be eyes there i have them but i'm using it for something else right now i will add them later though to show you guys um but it's supposed to be like a smile there and then it comes down here that's where the arrows are directing it and then it goes back up um and it looks really cool but um down here we have the mirror room with four different mirrors these are stickered pieces but there are molds on the back you can see it is curvy if i run my finger down it it looks really cool um and then that is a sticker fireplace back there which looks nice a piano the bust over there and then the movie theater up here with a um movie playing with someone getting married that looks cool or someone proposing sorry um some nice blackout curtains and the one thing i really like about this set is the tinted um panels for the windows they look really cool and this printed tile here um what does it say S forever sorting to that's funny um uh sorting what <laughs> um but you can see some pictures of Joker and more Joker. Because <laughs> this is supposed to be Joker Manor. This is supposed to be um, Bruce Wayne's mansion after um, Joker took over. But there are supposed to be eyes here. The eyes are over here, but I'm using the actual eyepiece for um, something else. I'll show you guys the eyes in a little bit. But um, up here, you can put like a minifigure. Uh, right now, I'll just be putting the um, a 2x4 plate in here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, play feature acted way too quickly. Um, okay. 
So you put the 2x4 in there, and then you pull out on here, and it goes out through a slide down here. So it just it's basically just a tunnel down there. Um, it's a cool play feature, but a little bit boring, I'm not even going to lie. And then we have some more boxes down here with the uh, do not open, evil plans, jokes, all this. This These both have um, printed tarot in them with um, Bruce Wayne on there. Probably just one's Joker with the storyline that Joker just put in the attic because he didn't want to see them anymore. Some more. I don't even know what's supposed to be in here. Like a bomb or something? I don't know. Records? I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think records are supposed to be yellow, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Uh, a, a nice uh, piece here. It's not printed, but uh, that is a sticker. It says BAM. That's a cool one. I'm trying to think of what else. There's not really too much more. But uh, yeah, this is a 3,444 piece set. It is very nice. Sorry that I went over the ring light there. But yeah, um, the play features again are the uh, boxing gloves coming out, which I think will be the best play feature. Or probably not because the roller coaster pops at all. The roller coaster coming around here looks nice. And then the floor coming out from the thing down here. 2x4 again. That's a cool one. Um, and then, of course, the mirrors down here are really cool. Um, I do have the um, Joker Manor figures available, so now we can review those. There's the Joker there with the eyes. He looks very nice. I was using it for something. There's a look at it through there. You saw that. Um, you probably can't guess what it is. I dare you to guess it in the comments. If you can, I'll tell you. If you can't, I won't tell you. But uh, yeah, there's the Joker with the eyes. I did forget to say that this was my largest set at 3,444 pieces. Starting off with the regular Batman, you can see he has some regular black legs, a very nice, um, I don't know if it's exclusive, it's exclusive to the regular Batman, I think, but the bat belt here, no batterings can be attached, though, that's cool, though. Um, got the nine pack of abs, which look very nice, the bat symbol, Batman cowl, um, a very nice cloth cape, not the hard cloth, the soft cloth, and... I don't think any, but oh, there are, there is some back printing, some back muscles there with the, um, the belt coming around there. And a revolver comes with the set as well for him. Now we can take a look at the police officer. Now we have the Barbara Gordon minifigure. This is a very cool minifigure. She is a redhead, which looks cool. And she has a kind of gold hair tie, which looks nice. And then a very cool skin tone. It looks very nice in Lego form. And, uh, you can see that she has, like, lavender arms, which look really cool, um, uh, pretty exclusive. A dark gray body with some nice print there with a vest and a collar, looks cool, with kind of like a belt around it. Not really, though, like a satchel kind of thing on the side here, or a holster, sorry. And then a badge coming down at the bottom there, sorry. I had to lift it because you guys couldn't see, like, the bottom there because of the reflection. But now we can take a look at the Joker. This is a very cool Joker minifigure here with his exclusive hairpiece to the Joker minifigure, not the set, but the Joker minifigure. It looks really nice. Actually, I don't, I'm not sure if it's exclusive. I made that claim. I believe that it's exclusive, but I'm not sure. I do think that he has a double-sided head. He does. He can be happy or he can be angry or like kind of like crazy almost, <laughs> but yeah. Um, you can see that he has a purple vest here, which looks very nice with the green tie and the yellow, uh, kind of polo shirt. And you can see that there are, like, the club symbols and the heart and the, um, spades and I forgot the last one. But, um, diamonds, I think? No, <laughs> diamonds, I'm stupid. I'm not sure what it is, but, um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't really play cards, but as you can tell, <laughs> um... You can see like a chain coming down from his pants and the um the vest continues with his hip there looks cool and yeah overall this is a great minifigure i would definitely suggest it now we can take a look at the harley quinn this harley quinn is very cool with the contrasting hair the only thing i don't really care about it is the hole in the head for like the hair piece or for like a bow to go in or something but and then she does come with like a mallet with the um kind of spade spades that's what it is i think wait no 
no, 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 that's not spades. Spades is the, um, kind of, like, heart with the triangle on top, or whatever, I think. <laughs> Don't hold me to that. But this minifigure does have some very cool sidearm printing with these skulls there on the side. And the, I guess, diamond. Uh, that's what I'm going to call them, diamonds on there. With the white stripe in the middle and the red on the other side. And the white stripe with the black over here. The contrasting um, red and uh, black looks very good in this minifigure. The face, I believe that she has an alternate face as well between the happy and the kind of angry which looks a little odd but it works um or when she's supposed to be disguising that's what it is in the movie disguised as like a lady in an elevator i remember that scene if anybody else remembers that put it in the comments but um you can see she has some a very nice belt here with these skulls on it some knee pads and a what is that there some triangles and stuff or squares over there look cool look cool and the roller skates are think i think they're supposed to be opposite but i'm gonna leave it because that's how i had it originally but uh, yeah this is a great minifigure and now we can take a look at the alfred this alfred minifigure looks very nice with his bald cap here with the hair surrounding with the bald spot in the middle looks very nice i believe that he should have an alternate face it's possible that he doesn't he did not that's interesting. This is like a $22 minifigure, I believe. That was the last time I checked on Bricklink. And you can kind of see that he's a little fat there with the fat line there. No, it's not, no offense or anything. So, yeah, I, there really wasn't an actor, I don't think. But they made it look like he had like a fat line there or something. But then you can see the Batman symbol there with the yellow in the background. Looks very nice. The Alfred has some glasses, which looks cool. I think he's supposed to be dressed up as like the 60s Batman. Which looks really nice compared to the other one i think i like this one's printing on the legs a lot better um but uh the other one is in the in the 1960s batmobile with like the um the other joker in it which looks so cool and then you can see some like light blue i feel like it's light blue with gray but i'm not sure um some light blue arms there or i'm gonna say light bluish gray because that's what it looks like some light bluish gray arms there some light blue Bush Gray's arms there on the other side, on the left and the right, and with the Batman belt there. So it's not exclusive to Batman. I thought it was. I guess it's not. But um, yeah, this is a great figure with some very nice leg printing there with the kind of triangle pattern on the bottom with the knee pad being triangles and then triangle um, closer to the hip. And yeah, some just dual molding. It looks great all around, but I just want to say... Now we can head on to the Robin. Yes, the helmet is supposed to be sideways. This is like the Robin dressed up as a Batman or any Batman scuba suit or something. But you can see the triangle closer to the um, hip there with the um, Batman belt again. So it's definitely not exclusive for Batman. And then some abs there you can see a little bit. Some printing there. The lighting's off, sorry. And then the bat symbols there on the front with this chest piece. And some wings on the back with the huge cape that I, I love that cape. This is a very cool figure. I think he's about $60. Um, so I'm like, I think that's medium as their arms and for the all the other blues on the body. And um, it's supposed to be like he fit on the cowl and it didn't fit right. And that's why it's sideways. I think that's how it's supposed to look. He does have a regular face, which looks like that. It looks a little awkward, but kind of an inquisitive eyebrow there. Um... And he has, like, a scared face here. You can kind of see that if I tip it down. It looks cool. But, uh, yeah, now that I've done that, we can look at the Disco Batgirl. I'm not even going to put this figure on the studs. This figure is sick. So, it does have a white Batgirl cowl, but it has the hole on the back for the ponytail, which looks very cool here. You can see if I pull that off, it looks like that. It's like a little nub on the back or something. And then if we take the helmet off, you can see her very nice face print there. Kind of with the lipstick look. Cool. Looks cool. And then happy and then like kind of serious. She has like a little bit of a wide face, no offense, but like offensive, but <laughs> I don't know. But you can see the arm printing here looks very nice with these sparkles. I know that I'm bending the cape. I'm really trying not to. Um, <laughs> but you can see some sparkles under there with the gold uh moving down i don't really want to take this figure apart because she's like a hundred and something dollars it's expensive 
and I'm not trying to buy a new one, so yeah. But um, this one has very nice dual molding here at the bottom with the white with the gold here. Sorry that I went out of frame. And then with like the buckles here at the shoe, that looks so good. It looks so nice. And then it even has printing under the belt, like a bat, bat belt or something under the bat belt or whatever. And then it's supposed to be a girl torso, so it's kind of inverted there to make it look slimmer or something. And then you can see some triangles in the shape of a bat there. Look cool. And then the actual bat here at the front with some sparkles around it. Look, looks cool. And then the gold cape with the white background, or white on the back. You could put it either way in the set, but I put it like this because I think it looks cooler. But uh, yeah, now that we've done that, we can look at Disco Robin. I do have the legs separated from the torso for this one because this one is also a more expensive one. The dual molding with the um, white and the tan here. <laughs> Looks like he has no pants on, just underwear. I think that's how the movie was supposed to be. But you can see the end of his boots are right there, kind of triangles like all the other characters. And then the dual molding stops there over the stud. And on the side here, which looks nice. And then dual molding on the arm as well with the t-shirt sleeve and then the tan. And then just regular white hands. And then a bunch of sparkles, gold sparkles, regular silver sparkles. And then the bat belt or utility belt down here at the bottom. And you can see his face. Pretty generic. I think it's the same one as the last one. Oh no, this one is kind of surprised here. Happy and then like a surprised look. This one is a shorter cape, I believe, than uh, the other ones. Or it's different, yeah, because it has a flat bottom here. That looks really cool. As a flat bottom for, I guess, Robin, it looks very nice. But now that we've looked at that, now we can look at Disco Joker. This is a really, really cool one with that um, Joker here. So it's not exclusive to Joker. Well, it's technically because this is a version of Joker with the um, white pants here at the bottom, with the print with the belt there, and the chain going on both sides, the big j chain at the middle with the vest with kind of like the zebra print there with some sparkles around it and then just the rest of the suit comes down a little bit to here and then it has the like tails to the suit here i know that i put them on wrong i just don't want to undo them and ruin them because they already are a little bit stained there unfortunately sun stained or yellowed whatever you want to call it um kind of got the um i guess like fur here on the outside of the coat, <laughs> looks bougie, kind of. Um, you can see the glasses here look very cool with the gold glasses with the rims there, or not rims, but like the slits in the um, the eyes or whatever. And then a, like a lot of teeth there, separated teeth. I think he needs an orthodontist. And you can see his green eyebrows, which look very nice. His alternate face is just him like with one tooth hanging out, kind of like a snaggle tooth type deal. But um, you can still see his green eyebrows, him kind of looking cool with those glasses, looks nice. And then uh, the back printing, actually, I haven't gone over back printing for the other figures, whoops. Um, you can see a big J there with these sparkles, but all the other figures didn't really have um, printing. But a quick story for this figure, actually, in, I believe, third grade, I had a friend with... Um, a name that started with J, and I was going to give him this figure, but the day, or not the figure, but the torso, um, but the day that he, um, it was the last day of school, and I finally remembered, and I brought it to school, and he wasn't there, so I, I am really glad that he wasn't there, because then that would have led me to not have a torso that I have today, but that was a risky move, and now we can look at the final figure, Disco Batman. The last final figure, the most expensive one at that, the Disco Batman. Um, yes, mine is a little yellowed for the cowl there. It's okay. Um, but you can see the blue eyes in there look, oh, whoops. The blue eyes actually look very nice here with the, um, the blue and then the black here. Mine is actually misprinted um, there at the top. You can see the ink kind of spread it over spread over there so not, not spread <laughs> i got my ela there we go my ela is kind of coming into effect now um you can see him smiling there and then a bigger smile over here that's cool i like that there's no angry one cuz i don't like when they put the angry one there's just like no point and then the cape is the same as the back row with gold on the outside white on the inside actually i reversed it 
because I did gold on the inside for um, Batgirl. But uh, yeah, this is a very cool figure. I don't know why I have the lights in sideways. The torso has the white abs with the gold Batman symbol and the sparkles on the outside with the silver lining there. Looks very nice. The white arms, white hands. I do think the most expensive part of this figure is the um, torso. You can see some more sparkles under there for the torso. Looks very nice with the um, kind of curve at the top there. I don't know why I didn't just turn that around. The curve at the top there for the neck. But uh, yeah, this is a great figure and I hope you guys like this video. And yeah, that was my review of Joker Manor. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys next time and goodbye.